going to be a quick walkthrough of setting up the 2626 and the Audient 880. If we look at the M Profire settings, I'm going to run through them here so we can see them. Mixer out, da da da, that's all for my headphones. But if we go to settings here, you see optical port B, ADAT, 40 for one normal optical port A, SPDIF 44 to 96, A to D, and sample rate here says 44, 1 to 48. Uh, in the router, I have all of these ports, the top three here, the opticals active. That's about it. In the mixer, you can see the channels, but they, um, uh, you can only view 18 at a time. But all 24 work. Okay. The two M audios are lit up with their blue lights. The ASP is down here. Its time code is set to 441. That is it. Then, if we head around to the back. Okay. Here's where it gets a little interesting. The optical port A's of the top M audio, the top one being our host, optical port A in and out, the top two, go to optical port A in and out of the second M audio interface. The in, the out goes to the in and up in both directions. There's one firewire coming from the host and that heads over to the computer of that cord there um, and then you obviously have the power that's it that's all that's plugged in on that those two devices now the ASP audient here has the button on the left in the back that says AES slash SPDIF pushed in the ADAT out is the only thing connected and that out goes to port B in. You can see it's the big gray optical cable there. The other cable right now is going nowhere. It's just not plugged in over here. You can see that on the, audi on the audient. There's only one input. That's it. Um, let's look at logic real quick. Though I didn't really change anything. I'm still having this weird delay issue in, in logic, but my, uh, my settings in logic um, are just the 2626 in and outs here. Core audio is enabled. Uh, that's about it there. And if we go to the session uh, settings here, synchronization is set up to internal. I thought it was going to be manual or external or something. In auto enable external sync and tap tempo. Um, but I think this is more relating to MIDI stuff. But this seems to work for all 24 channels.